What a shot! <laughs> Borada, welcome to another episode of This Is Sevens. We're here in Dubai for a double header, starting off the 2021-2022 season of the World Series. So it's almost quarter past five on Sunday and we traveled out from Loughborough today all the way to Dubai. We've had a little walk around just to get the flight out of the legs and then a pool recovery session with our physio and SNC. We then had some free time, so we finished off some of our analysis tasks, ready for the weekend, and then just had a little chill and a chat in the pool. Just look natural. Just look natural. <laughs> Burudar, welcome to this event. <laughs> <laughs> Always Room for the next two weeks. Very happy to be sharing with Mr. Happy. Farndale. Very happy. Got a very decent view out the window as well. Not bad at all. Looks like it's going to be a pretty epic sunset with the sun going down behind the Burj Khalifa. How do you feel about these last two tournaments they found out? Uh, yeah, pretty excited. Um, it's been a pretty cool year with the old GB stuff. Um, love playing as a GB team. And yeah, a bit strange to think it's the final two tournaments, but um, Dubai is a pretty cool place to come play. A pretty iconic tournament. Um, and yeah, I think it's a good place to finish off uh, and show what we can do as, as a team. So it's our first training day, just did a little session to get that flight out of the legs. So a little bit of mobility, some passing and running through our start plays, ready for the weekend. Seven Stadium is looking amazing as always. Uh, obviously this first week is going to be no crowd, but this is going to be amazing in that second weekend when the crowd too, all the invitational tournaments are going on as well. Oh, Pinamed. Oh, look at that. What a shot. So for the rest of the day, I think we've got a pool session and some recovery this afternoon. And then yeah, just getting acclimatized to the heat and a little bit of the jet lag. Tap water tastes pretty funny, 
right now. What are we going to be doing? Uh, we are on our way to play the world's best scrag team. John Wright, two nets. UE has the highest purchase of silk and cotton. Uh, pure cotton in the world. Standards have dropped. Yeah, it's not as interesting as yesterday. Is that per head or is that talk quantity? Give us stats. So we are back down at the Seven Stadium. We just played our scrag game against Spain. So every team normally plays another one. It's the last chance to play kind of match conditions, but without the contact and get a real blow on, get the legs moving, get the lungs cleared out, ready for Friday, Saturday. So if you've never been to the Sevens before, this is the main stadium over there where the Men's and Women's World Series tournaments happen. And then there's about six or seven of these pitches dotted around. And this is where the invitational tournaments go on. So it's always absolutely packed. People watching the World Series, people watching the invitational tournaments, and it's just a massive party by the time it comes to that Saturday night. How was that, Mods? Yeah, it's really tough. Boiling up there, about 30 degrees. But yeah, really good sweat. Thank you. So after that hair against Spain this morning, we had came back for lunch and then went off to do the gym. Normally this gym session pre-tournament is very power based. We've done all kind of the hard work beforehand. This is just to keep us primed and kind of ready for the tournament on Friday. Freddie, how'd you find that? We got it done. Got that work in. Managed to get a little cheeky pump session in the end. So, looking pretty good. Boys feeling good for Friday, so it's all about feeling good, not, uh, not playing good. Not playing good. <laughs> I'll pop the session in here and you can have a little look at what we do if you want to have a go at it yourself. organization. I'm not in, not involved. What? He gave us back because no one had taken anything from him. Yeah. Got a party to crash dock. Nah, it's all right. I've got some is that your own class and all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know what you're thinking. Cold is it? Pretty, pretty cold, like. Pretty cold? Yeah, it's actually right. Massive iceberg in here. What else have we done? It's fucked around the light switches really. <laughs> <laughs> we've been playing, so in these rooms you can take the light switches out of the rooms. So we've been having fun all week by uh, stealing Morgan's and Paddy's one. Uh, and they're convinced that it's Lenny, Tom Williams. So it's been a successful three or four days. What else have we done? We did a bit of the green screen filming again, similar to what we did in Canada. Um, so yeah, always good fun. Hopefully they use those on the big screen in the tournament. <laughs> That's awesome. Perfect. Uh, so tomorrow's our day off, so we're going to go for a coffee down the beach in the morning, come back for lunch, and then a few of us are going off to play golf on a par 3 course here in Dubai, which is meant to be really nice. Uh, so looking forward to that. Obviously the main problem here in Dubai, it's really, really hot, so you just want to limit that time on feet and that time walking around. This is the beginning of where it all went wrong. So it's the Wednesday before the tournament, it's our day off and we've come down to Kite Beach for a coffee and a little dip in the sea. Might even have some lunch out here as well, just to mix it up from the hotel food even though it's been very, very good. Second time out, and second time out. 
really wake up and I really start sleep talking to You're warmed up now. I actually think this is going to be quite a shot. Oh, that is a beauty on the sandwich. That is unreal. Beautiful. So it's the afternoon of our day off and we've come down to Dubai Creek. We're just on the driving range warming up and then we're going to go out onto the par 3 course for a bit of competition. Alex Davis plays off about 500. Hole in one. Did it go in? I went straight in. Did you see that? I did. I don't think I can zoom that far, but. <laughs> Here we have the Resident Pro for GB program from Bowen. No pressure, point. No pressure, but it's on. I'm live streaming to Instagram. Oh, <laughs> go in. Shot Fonzo, glad we're in a pair. Out of camera now. So I can edit that ball straight, don't worry. Oh. Are you enjoying the golf, Maxi? Loving it. I'm not doing too good though, I don't think. What do you think of this view here? Absolutely. Oh, that is very smooth. <laughs> <laughs> There's another. Do you want to take a mulligan now? Oh no. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh no. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Sorry. Sorry. They saved you there. Oh, that's me. Done on this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Maxi, what just happened there? I absolutely shanked him. He's gone across there and hit my boy over there. Right in the arm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you get that? I just yeah. missed it. <laughs> yeah. excited about um, some highlights included uh, Mogsy um, let go of the of the golfing bat uh, and it flew a good good 50 yards Bowen uh, Bowen obviously talked himself up uh, organized the whole thing very excited and was beaten by Robbie Max Max hit his first shot into the water second one he's gone for and uh, hit a member of the public uh, who luckily <laughs> took it very well <laughs> It's been talked about as the best best day ever, best day off ever. Amazing. Let's see what happened today then. I'm honestly still a little bit shocked. Uh, I don't, I don't really know what I can say to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> it was a golf didn't win today. Oh, golf fair. did not win. Fair, and you've oh, taken yeah. big plaudits today for organising the day off. What about your personal performance? Uh, we won't, yeah, we won't look at my personal performance. performance. I think my performance was how happy everyone is right now. I think that's what I'm going to judge myself on today and I'm pretty pleased with myself. Very good. So it's the Thursday before the tournament, we are back down at the Seven Stadium, we've just done our captain's run, so if you haven't watched one of the vlogs before, this is just the last training session you do before playing the next day, you kind of get physically ready, so a couple of primers there, and then just run through some of your moves ready for the first game. So our first game's against Japan tomorrow, can't wait for it, pretty chilled afternoon and then jersey presentation this evening. This one's about Crane. Yeah! Start in the past. The first ever crane ever uh, was in 1500 BC. Awesome. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So cool. Now moving on to uh, nine years cranes. in the future. Dubai wants to um, get rid of all cranes Ooh. in replacement of 3D printing all their buildings. Yeah. He was done, had his face done first. The guy said to him, We gotta take it on a ride. We gotta take it on a ride. He was just like, Yes, sir, sir, you need to do it. You need to do a facial. Pop into the back room here. Then I was sitting there, I was like, Wait a second. This is gonna be about 100 quid, I'd say. That was fucked. And I laughed at him, and my guy was like, You're getting one too. You need to, you need to look after your face. What do you think of the sunset, Margsy? Beautiful. Almost as nice as uh, Max's fave. <laughs> oh, uh, facial was good though. You facial was beast. You're looking right though. <laughs> <laughs> right, right? Are you trying to draw your eyes out of that? What's your eyes out of that? I'd have had a heart attack if I'd have paid that much. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Seven different creams. We just want those. The chicken. Stand far enough away, John. I'm going to just ask uh, Barnes, though, uh, just come on quickly and uh, say a little bit better, so that's why you're asking.